Hello everyone and welcome once again. This is part two of Let's Play Clonoa Door to Pantomime for the PlayStation 1. I'm the Gemi Pablo Wolfgang and today we're doing second place? Village? How are you gonna call it? Anyway, as you see here, we are in the... Well, what do you call it? A village hidden in, in the forest? In the jungle? More in the jungle. Anyway, I have suck hard balls just from the very beginning so we're up to a great start this time we are having a uh, black moose uh, what are these one well they are more aggressive uh, for instance uh, a spiked shield that trying to ram at you and yes I just said that said that I mean there's these monkeys and there's the, those things because I don't know what the heck are, are those that throws uh, spiky balls at you and this interesting bee that when you will inflate it works as a prop propeller uh, for you really weird being and this is strange uh, leaf that goes up and down really slowly you better watch out because there are sometimes that you mess up and they, well, you fall down. Second villager, and we continue on. Of course, a giant move. Come right here. Okay. Uh, the fairy multiplier works in this way. The small crystals count as one, and with the multiplier, just two. Next one. And the big ones count as five. So when you use the multiplier, you get a whopping ten crystals. And there's only that because, well, unfortunately, the counter of uh, crystals is just up to that. A cat, damn it. And I think that's more than enough, actually, because, well, there's not many enemies that can take you out. You have enough lives, uh, enough health. And yes, you know, uh, I forgot I was going to say this. Come here, you little monkey. Okay, finally moving on. And I messed up. Fuck. Anyway, these uh, creatures are invincible while doing this. So you just lose the moment if you try to rub them before they pop out of the uh, of their uh, shell uh, anyway we cannot continue so we go back and stop intruder uh, why are you jumping like that anyway I'm clone out from wind village I'm on my way to see granny oh sorry strangers wandering around recently strangers Door with picture of key, need key. Well, obviously, fucking idiot. Anyway, yes, as you see, these guys are, well, like, uh, wild people. Not too much. Uh, don't know how to use particles. So, let's move on. That was weird. Okay. Let's try to get that. And there's a move that actually, uh, well, sells himself out. Come here, you little fucker. Oh yeah, interesting gimmick here. There's two X down there, but you have to use it wisely. Ah, I, this item is really interesting because uh, it regains all of your loose hearts. So if you are in a trouble and you find one golden heart, be sure to use it or take it and we just got a four villager ah fuck well come on nice ah shit well that has to be the most well timed uh, bullet uh, second door key and there's two villagers left Okay, 
And I knew it. I fucking... Uh, ugh, I almost died there. Yeah, I... You saw... There's one big problem here. Uh, God damn it. Ah, uh, fuck. Well, I lost the life. Come here, you little fucker. Ouch. Oh! They... Oh. They actually can overlap in between each other. And I messed up. Well, shit, come here. Okay. Shoot it, and that's that. Oh, shit, I almost died once again. Come here, you little fucker. Ugh. Oh. Remember what I told you in the first part that Konoha has butter feet? This is what I meant. Okay, watch out. Ow. Well, uh, so much for that. One. Oh, there is the final villager on this stage. Why did I get rid of that uh, enemy? Well, unfortunately, Clonoa cannot take them in narrow paths. It's really finicky. And the only way for you to take those enemies is that the path actually uh, helps for them to get squished. Ow. Ow, you fucker. I'm not going back to there. Oh, yeah, nah. Well, this is the end of the first vision. Yeah, really short actually. Um, why are you thinking of beyond me? Are you thinking of going beyond here? Uh, that's our plan. Well, obviously. And see this. Uh, I don't know what this thing is, but kind of looks like uh, something out of Kirby. Uh. I'm a soldier from Jockpot, the Water Kingdom. Uh, yes, there are really a lot of kingdoms in here. There's the Wind Village, the Jackpot Kingdom, uh, this forest. Um, which other one? Oh yeah, the palace down up in the sky is called the Sun Temple. And that's it. For now. And just look at this. This poor idiot uh, just sells himself. See? You big mouth. Anyway. Now that we see that the river is actually uh, dried, we have to actually get it back to where it was. And remember, this uh, forest is actually done to die of dehydration because it will it dries itself out. That sounded bad. Again, the song actually goes a little longer I save and there's now 16 uh, villagers saved now we continue on beyond the backwards waterfall yeah people that name is not kidding this stage actually has a waterfall that goes uh, wait a moment, I'm going to get rid of, oh, get rid of this enemy, and it will be done in a few seconds, I think. You fucker, get the fuck out of my face. And we're here. Even as PlayStation 1 graphics, that looks kind of interesting. It's flowing backwards. Yeah, I would like would actually love to see a place like that in real life. Anyway, this is the reason why the forest is all dried out. So, what do we have to do? Well, ah, oh, fuck. Uh, we have to get the place uh, to normal. Cat then. Be sure to use this move here. 
get the first villager and thank god because sometimes I for oh shit I actually forget there's an enemy here oh you fucker get the fuck out of here eh. the second villager is down here Sometimes people forget it, so they don't complete the whole place, and that's like me. Now then, we are going into the caves that are uh, behind the waterfall, and don't forget to always look everywhere. Remember that, because Clonoa has a lot of hidden paths that you will eventually uh, forget to look out and you will miss a villager or a few lives uh, like sometimes happens to me I'm not kidding because look at that you maybe not see that one uh, down there or you think it's not really important well guess what it is important. It's Clonoa. It's not Super Mario. It's not Zelda. It's Clonoa. Not like the series is well as iconic as well Mario, but you get my point. And I'm being really stupid right now because well, you need a move to do a high jump here. Unfortunately, you cannot take uh, those flying ones. It's fortunate. Oh shit. Uh, remember what I told you about Clono having butter feet? This is it. And I think I'm going to die. Eh, uh, god damn it. And once again, that multiplying fairy is wasted. Seriously, why do it here and you don't have any other uh, way to defend yourself? Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Ugh. Yeah, unfortunately, these balloons actually knock you back. God damn it. And my freaking controller doesn't work when I need it. Ugh. Anyway, thank God, checkpoint. Let's try this. Let's try to get hit once again. God damn it. <sighs> anyway, moving on. Come on. Okay. He's here, here. Come here. Eh. Okay. Hmm, there we get. Well, a little bit of patience is more than enough. Now, come here, you little fuck. Oh, really? Ugh. Come here. Now I can pass. God damn. Anyway. Uh, I think this is the final stretch. Oh, it'll be long, but uh, I don't care. Oh, a freaking egg. Now, what would, do you think was going to be there? Help. Anyway, nope, this is not the way. Okay, here is the way. Ah, oh, goddamn. Now, let's try to be patient here. And unfortunately, it was not fast enough. Come here. How does that even have a sentience of, well, jumping? Beats me, but at least he's healthy. Okay, thank you. Ah, get them. It's a nice detail that each time you jump and come out of that, uh, water flow. It even a splash. It's a nice little, de little detail that actually you can appreciate for a PlayStation 1 game. And oh shit. Uh, this part is, well, you could call it an auto explorer because you cannot go back even if you jump, which is unfortunate. Anyway, we're almost done with this level. First, I'm going to get all the crystals that this idiot gives me. And I have to wait for an enemy to come out. Ah, oh, come on! 
Well, keep inflating this asshole until this one is close by. God damn it. And, oh, that was close. And final villager of the level. Come on. Oh, really? You're not going to reach? Idiot. Anyway, moving up. Get the fuck out of here. Whoa! Huh. Ah, uh, freaking bar of it. Now, final part. I have been telling a lot of this part, but it actually is the final part of the whole level. Just a few jumps here and we're done. And just like the Gordos of Kirby, these fuckers are invincible. Don't waste time trying to hit them with anything. Whoa, the fuck? Uh. Emulators, people. Ooh. Now, what the hell happened here? Huh. Uh, I'm in the same people. I don't know what the hell happened here. The fuck, man. Anyway, this is the part. Let's part. Wait a minute. Holy shit, there's a baby dolphin hanging in a cage for water. That thing is going to die either of, of out of food or dehydration. The fish. Well, at least the game actually predicts that it's a fish. Not like Fona who don't know if it's a cat, a bunny, or whatever the hell it is. It is. I have to say I like the sound they use it for her voice. And yes, it's supposed to be female. Uh, I have to say that the, in the in the remake for the Wii, some objects were well changed. Uh, that water wheel that we see in the background uh, was actually changed into some kind of uh, conch that was uh, well a seashell, however we're gonna call it, and that was weird. Anyway, boss time. Uh, Clonoa is not supposed to be to be able to swim, but if he is stick in that, he actually can it, do it. Wow. Who is it? And yourself? Uh, meh. See that king of the king, this castle, and all your all of your uh, servants are actually trapped in a in bubbles. So what a king you are! And this is Pamela. Uh, I don't know the name, but uh, I kind of like it. And that is Carol's mom. <sighs> now, the gimmick of this fight is actually using the king himself and throw it at Pamela. I kind of like that. It's kind of a really interesting slapstick, if you can actually call it like that. But anyway, you cannot do anything uh, to them in this moment. The king will get cocky enough, just like that, and will try to go uh, step, uh, how does that work, I don't even know, but he will try to step in the spike balls, and you can grab him and throw it at panel. Unfortunately, that's all there is to it. Not too much to call a hard fight, but anyway, I will have to say that this uh, game only has three boss fights that I can call actually hard. And through through uh, classic games is the final ones. That has to hurt for both of them. Anyway, we almost done, and you have to appreciate the really good music used for any in this game. If it's calming, it's calming. If it's uh, intense, well, look at this. And if I remember correctly, no, the not 
all, all of the bosses have the same theme, I think. Ah, it's been a long time since I played this game. Oh, too bad. I missed. Well, just a few sequences more. Yeah. And unfortunately, you cannot deceive Pamela to run into these spikes because uh, she can actually, uh, well, go through them. Not like uh, the texture goes away, she, uh, it's just that she can actually push them away. She's strong. Come on, Pamela. That's... That's it. Now that's a good thing. Oh shit, I think it's glitched once again. God damn it. I don't understand what happened here. Ugh. Anyway, at least it's not at the end. And uh, actually, Pamela doesn't die. Thank freaking God. She actually goes back to normal. Well, her golden normal. And the king actually was brainwashed. Yep, he is back to normal. The fuck, man? You actually think that Joker is actually pretty useless, but you're going to be denied uh, in the final parts. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Anyway, it looks like the king is not actually a useless ruler. He actually has uh, command over the water. He is the reason why the water is not going into the forelock uh, forest. And he can actually command the water to go back to his normal way. Talk about power. If you can actually command the water itself, that would be badass as hell. Now, we have to go back to Forlock. And that's where things get interesting. I actually like the gimmick of some of the levels. In that in that forest. Anyway, Carol will take you, take us back to Forlock, and we end that part there. All right, we are back to normal in the forest. Looks kind of nice, right? Now, the part is over. And six more villagers. Well, as you see, the song got longer. Okay people, this is it for this part, as always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, uh, I'm going to say here, have a fantastic day, and take care.